Hey now, it's the Rob. I'm Maddie. And we are here for week two of our Football Pick'em Challenge. That's we right. We are two radio show hosts who know less than nothing about football, <laughs> yet we will still have a running back going. And I'm embarrassed to say, as we head into week two, Maddie, you mm-hmm. are one game up. I am. So I'm going to try to even the score this week. I've okay. made some picks, okay. uh, some controversial picks, but All I've right. made them. Let's go ahead and get started. We've got... Uh, week one. We've got... Uh, well, game one. Tonight, on yes. Thursday. So yes. there's one game tonight, uh-huh. and that is going to be Houston versus Cincinnati. Now, last week, I said... Cincinnati had zero points. Oh, I didn't even know that. Right? Aren't they the Bengals or the Bengals or however you pronounce it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so, well they had zero points last week. I remember seeing that. And I remember my theory last week was that Houston and Texas has been in such rough shape post-hurricane that I don't know when these teams have a time to practice. I don't know either. Houston, I believe, also did not pick up a victory last week. They didn't. But I think that they will this week. I've got Houston in game one. I do too. Alright, no disagreements there. Okay. Game two. That's going to be uh, this weekend. Yes. We're looking at Cleveland at Baltimore. The Rob is taking Baltimore. Me too. All right, another one. There we go. Any reason? <laughs> uh, they played well last week. All right, there you go. You know, you know much more about last week of football than I do. <laughs> I paid close attention. Up next, Buffalo at Carolina. I'm going with the Panthers. Me too, but this is going to be a good game. You think so? Yeah, it'll be a good game. I'll tell you the one to watch. The one to watch is going to be later this weekend. Uh Uh Keep in mind, I'll fill you in. Okay. All right, so far, no disagreements. Yep. Arizona at Colts. Interesting game. Interesting game. I want to say the Colts because we're here in Colts country, but I can't see them getting past Arizona this week. Me either. I picked Arizona as well. All right. Four for four. This is not as much of a feud as we thought it was going to be. Well, listen, we've got, uh, what, 16 games to go. We're only a quarter of the way through. Yep. Uh, We'll keep going. I guarantee you we'll disagree on something here. Yeah. Uh, Jacksonville hosts Tennessee. Mm Mm-hmm. What you got? Got Jacksonville. See, I have Tennessee. There we go. See? I watched Tennessee play last week against the Raiders, and like I said, it was a pretty boring game. I mean, they definitely held their own. They, they're a tough team. So you thought that even though they couldn't get past your Raiders last week. No one can. <laughs> you think that they're going to be able to get past Jacksonville, who I believe picked up a victory last they week. They did. They played really well, too. It'll be a tough game, for sure. So, Another good um, one. Yeah, uh, so we go. there we go. So we disagree mm-hmm. on game number five. Yep. I've got Jacksonville. Ms. Maddie's got Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Up next, my Eagles are traveling to Kansas City. And they're going to lose. They are not. You think so? <laughs> I do think so. All right. Well, I disagree with you. I'll take you up on that. All right. My hometown boys, the Philadelphia Eagles, I think will uh, get a victory over the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs have got this one, even though I don't particularly like the you Chiefs. You should make a note as to which ones we disagree on. on okay, you're paper. right. You're right. All right. So I'm just, see, I'm a, I'm a smart yeah, cookie. Yeah, it's, it's in my brain. All that time that most guys spend thinking about football, I spend... <laughs> thinking about how to write down football games. Okay. Exactly. That's okay. what I do. I gotcha. Okay, so next, we just did, okay, so uh, New England at New Orleans. New England and New Orleans. New England, New Orleans. Um, I don't root against the cheaters very often, and this will also be a week where I don't root against the Patriots. Uh, I'll, 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 let me correct that. I will be rooting against them, but I think they will get past New Orleans. I do, too. I got, I got uh, the Patriots winning as well. All right. Minnesota's traveling to Pittsburgh. This will be another good game. I think this will be a good game, but I think Pittsburgh is going to get past them. Me too. All right. And they got, they got the home turf advantage too. Yeah, so. the Steel City. They, uh, they love their Steelers out there. Yeah. Uh, next, we've got uh, Chicago traveling to Tampa Bay. I'm going to go with uh, Tampa Bay. You're me too. Not, you're not going to hear me bet on the Bears very often. Yeah, I don't the think Bears. anybody is. <laughs> so there's that. We've got uh, Miami going to Los Angeles. This will be interesting. Miami didn't play last week. So this is technically their first game of the season. And so we, we don't really know what to expect yet. And that's why I am taking a gamble. And I think Miami's got this. Okay, because I'm sticking with L.A. Are you? Yeah, I don't, okay. kind of like Chicago, I don't put my money on the Dolphins very often. I know. Just ask Tyra Banks. She doesn't either. Smart, smart beautiful <laughs> creatures. I'd love to swim with the Dolphins, but I'm not going to put my money on them playing football. I'm going to. They were decent last year. They had a few bad years, or more like a few bad decades. But um, I, think they, I think they're going to come back this year. Yeah, I think uh, post-Dan Marino, it's been all downhill for the <laughs> Dolphins. All right, let's keep going here. Okay. The New York Jets take on your Oakland Raiders. 
Yeah. I, I wonder who you've got. I, I picked Oakland. <laughs> Last week I rooted against Oakland. I sure wound up regretting that decision. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with Oakland this time. Good choice. Over the Jets. So Good choice. While you disagree with me on my Eagles, I will I not did. disagree with you on your Raiders. It's about time you repaid me for the last That makes you a hater. Last week. It does. This week. It does. But I was one last week, so I okay. can't point too many fingers. Fair enough. All right, we got a few more to get to. Game uh -huh. number 12, Dallas and Denver. This is the one I had the most problem with. This will be the game to watch, in my opinion. I agree. I actually, I feel like this is the one I had the least confidence in. Mm -hmm. I'm choosing Denver. I'm choosing Dallas. All right. So are you making <laughs> notes on this? In my brain, yeah, I got it. Okay, em. you got them? I got Okay, because I'm taking Denver, you're taking Dallas. That's right. Washington and Los Angeles. The Rams. I have the Rams taking this one. I do too. It'll be it'll be another uh, good game. Yeah, this one... Uh, There's some good matchups this week. Absolutely. I'm going to try to sound as, <laughs> like I know what I'm talking about. I, I agree with you, Maddie. This will be another game to watch. <laughs> San Francisco going to Seattle. Uh, I'm going to go with Seahawks on this one. Me too, yeah. Good choice. Uh, after that, we've got, I got a Green Bay... And Atlanta. And ATL. Who do you got? Ooh, I got Atlanta winning this one. Me? I've got Green Bay. Okay. See, it's because we didn't agree again, on, disagree on the first four. They're both really good teams. Atlanta went to the Super Bowl last year. Green Bay was almost there. Yeah. So, uh, All right. Exactly. <laughs> That's how I base my predictions too, Maddie, what she said. So they both have good teams. All right. One last game going to uh -huh. take place on Monday Night Football. Detroit and the New York Football Giants. Maddie, who's going to win? Detroit. The Giants are going to win. <laughs> I got the Lions winning, and I proved you wrong on this one last week, too. I had the Giants winning, or the Lions winning. And, and they I did win, didn't they? They did win. Um, they, they were kind of, they kind of surprised they're everyone, They're not going actually. back to back, Maddie. They're <laughs> not going back so? to back. So as we head into week two, like I said, Maddie's up one game. But as, as you can tell by our predictions, as we go into week three, I will have a strong lead. <laughs> how many, do you know how many we disagreed on? I think like four or five. Yeah, there was a good bit. Yeah. So it's going to be an interesting weekend to uh, to see what happened. Remember to make your picks on the website, 1061evansville.com. It is free to play, and you can win a lot of great free stuff from Miller Lite. So check it out. Make those those picks and uh, tune in next week to find out uh, who won probably be me against Maddie <laughs> here on 1061 Evansville.com.